If you don't believe in God, if you are a Muslim, if you are a Buddhist, whatever you are, I want to chat to you, okay, today. I'm asking you, I'm, I'm on the lookout for any atheist, for anyone who says there is no God, that doesn't believe in God. Yeah, the, the, this lady says that, yeah, are, you the, is she the most hated person on it? Oh, this man's the most yes. hated man on earth. Okay, so I've got on this board, as you can see, I've got most hated people ever to walk planet earth. But I want to talk to the atheists. I want to know, are there any atheists out there? Is there anyone here today who does not believe in God? You say there is no God. I want to chat to you. If you're saying there is no God, here's a question. Here is a question for the atheist, okay? What is zero plus zero? Zero, okay, thanks girls. So what is zero plus zero? It's zero. So if there's no God in the beginning, if there's nothing in the beginning, how do you get a universe from nothing? Over to you now, okay? What's that? You don't need to bother them guys, okay? Yeah, uh, my, leave, my grandpa, leave those girls alone, okay? You don't, need to, you don't need to interrogate them, okay? Thank you, right. Okay, so I'm saying to you, is there, a, is there any atheists out there? Because we today, we've got on this board, I've got the six most hated people ever to walk planet Earth. Do you recognize number one here? Who's number one? What do you think? Who's number one? Hitler. Hitler. Okay, so we've got Hitler. Do you recognize this man here? Number two. Does any, for those you are going by, I'm saying these are the six most hated people on planet Earth. Who else would you add to this list? Who else might you put on this list here? So we've got, this man here is Ted Bundy. He was famous for, he was a really nasty, wicked man. And if you go on Netflix, you can see stuff about Ted Bundy. Horrible man. Number, what did you say? Good series. Good series. Yeah, you're watching it on Netflix. Yeah, you enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, it's meant to be interesting. I've not seen it yet myself, but uh, I'll have to watch it. The man in the yellow socks is, uh, is telling me to watch it. I like your style, sir, okay. Uh, number three, can you name, I'm asking you, do you know, do you recognize any of these most hated people? Who would you add on that list, fellas? I'm hate any You don't hate any of them? So you like Hitler? Are you a big fan of Hitler, sir? <laughs> I've got you there. <laughs> okay, number three. Do you know who number three is? We've got Matsy Tong. Killed millions, millions of people. Number four here. We won't even speak about this man. Many of you, you watched him on TV. Jim will fix it. And you said, you, you might have thought, well, he was an all right guy, but he had some horrible, nasty, wicked ways, didn't he? Number five. Who's that? Do you recognize number five? Always oh, passing it over to the message, you know. <laughs> Myra Hindley, thank you sir. We've got Myra Hindley, okay. So on this board, okay, we've got five most hated people. I'm asking you now, who would you add to this list? Who else would you? You'd add your friend here. She's not, that's, that's called bullying there, girls, okay. So I'm saying, who would you add to this list? But we're going to do a bit of a social experiment now. Have you heard of social experiments? Now, I guarantee that number six is more hated than all of these people put together, okay? Number six is more hated than all of these. And I'll prove it to you, okay? Everyone take now a look to your left. Everyone take a look to your right. Take a mental picture of everyone who's standing. There's about five or six who are standing here. Because I guarantee that when I turn number six over, at least one person will walk off. Because you do not like, you hate this person more than all of these people put together. But as you walk off, will you do a bit of a favor for me? It was said about this man that he was hated without a reason. So as you walk off, just say, what is the reason why I don't like this person? What is the reason why I don't like him? Are you ready for it? Okay. Because he's a prick. Okay, so that's what you say, okay. Why'd you say that, sir? Okay, thank you. Right, this man here, I won't, I won't repeat, just stick around, sir. This man here said, I, I don't like Jesus because he's a, a swear word, okay? I won't say that because I'm a Christian. But you went to a Christian school, that's a fair point. You know, people go to Christian schools, many people get it rammed down their throats. But my question to you would be, have you thought about it recently? Since how old are you now? About 21? 17, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm... 21, I'm going to get in served, me. <laughs> You're 17, so you got kicked out. But I'm saying to you now, what's your name? Thanks for you. Jack. Jack, thank you, Jack. I'm Joe. I'm saying, right, this man Jesus was the opposite to all of these people, okay? Hitler, what was he known for? Murdering. Jesus said, do not murder. This man here was a wicked man to women, really nasty to women, Ted Bundy. 
and, and he, you know, yeah, Jesus yeah, was once, there was a, a lady, listen to this guys, there was a lady, she was thrown out in the streets and she committed adultery, she cheated on her husband and all these men, they picked up these stones to throw them at him and Jesus said this, he said, which of you has never done anything wrong, you throw the first stone. So even though you might not like Jesus, Jesus loves you very, very deeply, he really does. Did you know this? Pardon? Why'd you say that, sir? Why'd you say that? What? Yep, the whole idea is talking. Thank you, thank you. What's your name, sir? Jack again. Two Jacks. Jack and Jack. So, Jack, so Jack, you say he's not real, okay? Let me ask you a question, Jack. What year were you born in? 2001 years after who? It's not though, two, Jesus Christ came into the world, he rose from the dead and he split time in two. It's not rubbish because think about it, if it was, it's not rubbish because who were you born after? When were you born? 1979 years after who? After Jesus, he came into the world, he split time in two and that's what we measure our history by. He was, do you know, do you believe in Julius Caesar? Well, no, you don't believe in him. Well, there's more facts that Jesus exists than Julius Caesar. Uh, well, what do you believe? Where did the universe come from, man? Where did the universe come from? Okay, so we started from nothing. So, here's a maths equation. Oh, right, it's not. Okay, it's zero. Just, just, just one second, let me answer it. Zero plus zero equals what? Does anybody else just want to say big Guys, guys, Okay, but think about it. Zero, I, this lady said we came from nothing, we go back to nothing. But zero plus zero equals ni zero. So if there's no God in the beginning, if there's nothing in the beginning, how do you get a universe from nothing? Over to the atheist, answer that. Will you answer that question for me, sir? Okay, okay big bang, big bang. What went bang then? There must have been something to go. A star, where did the star come from? It does nothing. Where did the molecules come from? You're the only person who answered a question with a question, my God. But there was nothing in the beginning. Time, nothing in the beginning. Why should everyone say that? Why are we only video for all the two crazy years spent in time? It's not an endless cycle. You listen to the scientists, you listen to Stephen Hawking, you would say there was nothing, and then time had a beginning, Big Bang and then we've got a universe. So my question to you is, where did everything come from? It's just common sense, guys. Zero plus zero equals zero. So if there's nothing in the beginning, how'd you get a universe from nothing? I'm not speaking in a foreign language, I'm just saying it. But I'm saying this, this is so important now. This man, Jesus, loves you deeply. They spat on him. They put a crown of thorns onto his head. They nailed him to a cross. And it's almost like this, it's almost as if God the Father rolled up his sleeves and he reached into every single person's heart pulled out all of the sin, all of the lies, all of the lust, and then he rolled it up into a ball, placed it on Jesus, and then Jesus was punished for your sin, so you could be forgiven. Okay, right, I'll take some more questions. Sorry. I agree, like, Jesus He was born, he came uh, just before. So, we have AD, stands for in the year of our Lord, BC, before Christ, so 33 years before Jesus rose from the dead, so whatever that is, minus BC. <laughs> okay, right, so you're saying basically, okay, thank you, this guy's basically saying, for those of you who didn't hear, he wanted to know what year were drugs, because you're basically saying the Bible, yeah, I've heard it, they're all on mo magic mushrooms. Okay, that's fine. They're not on magic mushrooms. Listen, let me say this, you've got to, to be a Christian, you've got to be rational. Bible pages as well. But, so that to me just seems like okay, while well, we're on the theme of the Bible, I like, Matt, what's, what's your name? Metallica, what's your name, sorry? Jordan, Jordan, thanks for your question. Right, Jordan, I, I appreciate you've talked about the Bible, so I'll bring it back to the Bible. Big question for you all now. What would you think of me now? Listen, guys, what would you think if I said Harry Potter is a terrible book? What would you think of me? You'd agree with me, right? What if I said Harry Potter is a terrible book, but I've never read it before? What would you think of me then? You might say read it first and then make a judgment. Please don't ever say the Bible's a load of rubbish without reading it first. I'll give you a portion of the Bible for free. If anyone wants it, take it from my hand. If anyone wants to take it, it's total bullshit. 
Don't believe a word in it. But have you read it? Can I just yes. Say? You've read it all the way. Forced to read it many times. Okay, so I've got the book of John. What's the book of John about here? That was in primary school. Can't remember shit. So don't why don't you read it, it now? Shit. Why don't you read it now? As an older man, why don't you read it? If you want it, it's yours for free. Anyone else want one? These, I'm giving these out for free. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Don't be embarrassed to take this from hand. If anyone wants it, we're giving these out for free. Read it for yourself. Read the evidence. Jesus came into the world. He died on a cross. He rose from the dead. This is an eyewitness account. Ask yourself a question. Is it rich? No, he rose from the dead. Anyone else want one? If anyone wants one, come and take it from my hand. Thank you for your bravery, man. Anyone else? You want one? Please take it. Read it. These, and also, if you've got a mobile phone, there's Q QR codes in here, so if you're not the best reader, you can click on them. Does anyone else have another question before I move on? Yes, you've got a question, sir. Okay, well, when I was starting bombing, we had a bomb crash, we had a bit of a bomb. Speak up a bit so other people can hear you. Normal chat group was shared in the Bible with this time of peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the voice of the turtle was heard in the land. So, uh, the turtle was the turtle was the turtle the turtle Okay, what's your name, sorry? Colin, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you, Colin. I've read the Bible twice, cover to cover. I study it every week. I've never heard about this voice of the turtle. Are you sure you weren't reading the Quran? Yeah, exactly. Right, okay. Okay, I'll be honest. Time of peace, they said that there was a Scottish... A turtle? A turtle. As in, like, as in like or find a Nemo, those turtles. Right, well, I, I'm sorry, I've never read that before, okay, so I don't know what that's about. If you come back, if you, if you take one, if you want to take one, you want to get in touch, if you find it, come and find me again. I'm in Wigan. Something that just bugged me since I was at school. Okay, well, yeah, maybe the, the voice of the turtle. Maybe the religious education person was smoking something, I don't know. No, no, no. No, I'm only teaching Colin. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Colin. Yeah, what would your question like, Adam? Okay, so me and my sister both went to St. Edmund Arrowsmith, a religious Catholic school. Yeah, I know that, yeah. Uh, my mum went there as well, so did my grandma possibly. And my sister got an A-star in religious studies. She has read three different Bibles from three different places, and they're all different. Right, okay. So, so. there's not what they say they are. The Bible's been changed over many years. So that's what would your question be, sorry? Bullshit. That's not a, a question, that's a question. statement. It's a Tell statement. me a statement. So you give us a, give us a question. Okay, right. So you just wanted to say that. Right. Well, have you read it? Have you read it yourself? Your sister's read it. Have you read it? Would you read this? Have you read this book, John? What's it about, this one? Okay. What's the book of Genesis about then? Well, you haven't read it clearly because that's really obvious. Well, look, if you'd read the Bible, you'd know what the book of Genesis is. I'm just saying, look, you might not like me. You're not going to rip it or do anything. No, no, I promise. Okay, now listen to me, okay? You might look at me and say, you're a bit annoying, right? Street preachers are a bit like a, a fire alarm. Really, really annoying, but they warn of danger. The fact of the matter is, 10 out of 10 people die. We're all going to die one day. And I'm saying to you, make sure you're ready that when you face God, you're ready to meet him. He loves you. He's, he's, he's put a life raft out in Jesus Christ to save you, to rescue you from your grave. But if you refuse him, there is a, there is a judgment. And I don't want anyone to go there. That's why I'm standing here. What's the danger? What's the danger? There's a danger of hell, madam, okay? Hell? Yeah, because every crime... Every crime... But the good news is... What's your name, sorry? Yeah. Jess, the good news is this, Jess, okay? There are only two types of people that get to heaven. Perfect people and forgiven people. Now, is anyone going by perfect? Are you perfect, Jess? To your dad, I'm sure you are. But we're not. None of us are perfect. If you look at me, looking at me, I'm a married man. Do you think I've ever made my wife cry before? What do you think? Probably. I have. Do you think that, do you think that I've ever looked at anything I shouldn't have? What do you think? I have. You see these fists? Do you think I've ever hit anyone before? What do yeah. you think? Yeah. I have. So I'm not perfect, but I'm by far means not perfect. But I'm going to heaven because I've been forgiven. What? I've asked Jesus to forgive me. And the Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ can wash you whiter than snow. And if Jesus can But Jesus can make you clean. You come to him and you ask for it. The Bible says 
All liars will have their part in the lake of fire. You just have to tell one lie and you go into hell because God's standard is perfection. If we went to heaven telling lies, blaspheming, using God's name as a swear word, then we'd ruin it. Then we'd ruin it like what we'd ruin planet Earth. We'd ruin it, you see. So that's why he has to have perfection and we can't meet that. But Jesus met that perfection on the cross and that's why we put our trust in him, our faith in him. He's the one who loves us. That's exactly what I'm saying. Exactly. So you've just said that you have to be perfect to go up to heaven. Yeah, yeah, listen, Jordan, so thank you. Jordan, you just... We're all going down. Yeah, there. we all deserve to go we're down, Jordan, down. but this is what I'm saying. I can't meet that standard, Jordan, but Jesus met it perfectly. He never told a lie. He never did anything wrong. He never did anything wrong whatsoever. So if you put your faith in Jesus, it says in the Bible, his blood that was shed on that cross, it can wash you white than snow. You can be totally clean in God's eyes because Jesus shed his blood on that cross for you. And that's the way to heaven. We don't earn it, it's a gift. But the thing is though, as well, it's like, if, if no one, like, if, if sins are a thing, right? So you, like, you've read the Bible yourself twice, yeah? Yeah. Right? So apparently it's a sin to be gay, right? But why on earth right, did he give people a mind to have a choice of being gay, but it's also a sin to be gay? Okay, so, okay, so there's a choice, you, you've got a right, uh, you, Jordan, there is a choice, okay, we, we have the right, so, uh, say my wife's here, okay, I love my wife, but for my wife, she has to have the right to love me back, doesn't she, okay, she has to have free will, otherwise, if I just brainwash my wife and say, you must love me, that's not gentlemanly, is it, do you get what I'm saying, that, that, that ain't what I'm saying. yeah, but just, just listen to what I'm saying, so I'm saying, God has given us all the free will, we can either love him, or we can choose to reject him, God is a gentleman, he won't force himself on anyone, so you can love him or you can reject him, and that's what we're saying today is, turn to him and love him, okay, that's what I'm saying. What about all the other religions then, they've got their books, people have got the Quran, the Torah, they've got it all, right, okay, so, pretty much, how it works is that they have their own story of how it, like, began, yeah. so what's the difference between Christianity, and the religion. Jordan, that's a great question. Jordan has asked a great question. He says, there's many different religions. Why is Christianity special? Why do you believe Christianity over that? Buddha is dead. Muhammad is dead. Shakespeare is dead. Joseph Smith is dead, but Jesus is alive. Jesus is the only one to die and then raise himself back to life. And Jordan, if you died and then three days later came back from the dead, I'd listen very carefully to what you have to say. And that's why we listen so carefully when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Listen, because there's a big crowd, if you see there's lots of people, I'll put this final challenge out. If anyone wants to take this book, a free Gospel of John, for free, take it from my hand, don't be shy, come and take it. I'm offering these to all of you guys if you want it. It's theirs, be yours for free. Jesus loves you and he died for you. Don't be embarrassed to take it. Hallelujah. Are you going to read it and be serious, sir? Because these people died for this. Yeah, I'm s yeah, they died for this book, sir. If you're going to be silly, I can't give it to you. I'm sorry. Okay, this is serious, though. People literally shed their blood and died because people said, keep this message quiet. We don't want Christianity to spread. We don't want the world to be turned upside down. And they were put to death for these beliefs. So that's why I'm not giving this out loosely. Anyone who's going to read it seriously, I'll give it to you. But if you're going to take take the mick, I can't. I don't want to just give it away. Does anyone want to take it and read it seriously? Thank you. God bless you. Anyone else want one? Okay, if you've got a Bible at home, wipe the dust off. I'm going to stop there. We're in a local church. We go to a church called Jira Baptist Church in Pemberton. If you ever want to be there, 10.45 in the morning, we'd love to see you. May God richly bless you all. Thank you for stopping. I've just wasted 10 minutes. Amen. I've just wasted my time.